Slack attack. Yo, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim and let's reel this sucker in. We're coming into the finish line here. The mission up to bat is the Staff of Magnus. There's a couple of things I want to make happen in the hotkey department. Number one, I want Detect Dead. Up to bat. You're up to bed. Detect Dead. Up to bat. Detect Dead. Um, Command Danger. That's going to be useful as well. Let's hotkey that as number eight. And let's get the Ice Form Shout happening. Here happening. There we go. And that is about it. We have a crap ton of fortified destruction potions. Let's seize up the old ones and then move on to the new ones. Uh, we won't really be needing these that much or this, but uh, it's nice to have a few. And we got our... This is our loadout. And what we're going to rely on heavily in here is zero cost alteration spells and zero cost destruction spells. Because in this place where we're going to, the Labyrinthian, we're going to get continually zapped by these magical auras, if you will, that will wipe out your magicka. Completely wipe it out. And that's going to happen a lot. Okay, so zero magicka spells are going to be very useful in this area on Legendary Difficulty. Let's get to it. Uh-oh, the game's taking a long time to load. Does that mean there's a dragon out here? Dragon? No dragon? Actually, I don't think that a dragon can appear in Winterhold during this quest. Um, the Labyrinthian is just southeast of Morthal. Let's go to Morthal. We'll take this road along here. And then cut straight south like that and get to the Labyrinthian. That's the plan. Let's do it. Warm day here in Montreal, Quebec. So the windows are wide open. It's not exactly a heat wave, but yeah, the windows are wide open. So you're going to hear some sounds of traffic and whatnot going by. Okay, so go south for Morthal. Always a predator here, random. Could be a snowy saber cat, could be a giant frostbite spider. Heading east, we keep looking off to our right. Right now, okay, I'm gonna mention this. Right now, Sabrina is worth 33,000 gold. And, like, we have at least, I would estimate, a rough estimate, about. 25,000 more gold worth of merchandise, unsold merchandise back at the College of Madrid. So really, Sabrina is worth about 60,000 gold, and we're going to easily finish the College of Winter Gold quest line with that 60,000 gold. Essentially, we're at the point in the walkthrough, yeah, almost every walkthrough I, where I do, where I have, uh, you know, way too much gold and nothing to do with it. So we're not going to be doing any more looting, okay? That's it. Looting is off the table. It's become completely redundant. We're just going to blast through this sucker and show off Sabrina's skills. We're not going to bother uh, soul trapping anybody. We're just going to kill everything and get the job done. Okay, here we are climbing up to Labyrinthian. Probably going to encounter a couple of frost trolls on the way. Right about here. Alright, shields up, Scotty. Labyrinthian. Frost roll? Frost roll. No? Ah, they remember what I did to them in practice rounds. <laughs> I ain't going through that again. Okay. Savo's Aaron. What's up? Sab! Alright. Ready to do this thing? Okay, because so we got this thing on board called the, the Torque of whatever. I forget what it's called. Here, the Torque of Labyrinthian. That's what this is for. It's basically a key to open this door. Oh, here we go. We'll be back at the college before anyone even knows we're gone. You would care about that, since you're the Archmage's favorite. Don't forget, this whole idea was Atmas to begin with. Yeah, it's all her fault. Let's just get inside. See what's in there. 
Hafnar Ice Fist. Okay. I wonder what his specialty is. Oh. Alright, knock knock bitches. We are coming in. Okay, I'm gonna be casting. Actually, I shouldn't do this now. There's gonna be a little bit of conversation here again. I can't believe we're doing this. Can you imagine the looks on their faces when we come back? You keep talking like you're sure we'll find something useful in here. Given the history of this place, it's more than likely there's still some amount of power here. Enchanted weapons, tomes of ancient knowledge, Shalador secrets themselves. Who knows what we could find? And what if, what if there are things guarding this place? Against six college-trained mages? I think we'll be fine. Haha. <laughs> Even though you're all just the ghostly remains of what was. Alright, yeah, I just picked up a spell tome of water breathing. I never noticed that before. Um. <laughs> you said you're not going to loot anymore, eh? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Dragon hide. Incinerate. Activate leaper. Skeletal dragon appears here. And a whole bunch of skeletons. Let's get some extra sauce happening here. Back up. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. What the hell? Okay. A little bit of post-mortem spazzing going on here. That's enough out of you, and that's enough out of you. Who's left? Here, here we go. Ah, I missed me. That works for me. Five dragon bones. Huh. No, honestly, I'm I'm just gonna blast through here. That was just like you know, etched tablet. Hail all brave city, Brom Judar, wherever these walls shall stand. May enemies see her majesty. May all quake to behold her. We we have to go back. We can't leave Gerdwin. We barely made it out alive. You want to go back in? It's too late. There isn't enough of him left to go back in after. Gods, what have we done? We can't go back. Might as well go forward. We can still do this. Come on, Our you bunch of lily livered panty waste. Stay alert. Okay, this way, people. Wagon hoe. Over the top. Okay, here's the first time we're gonna encounter one of these things. See, my magic is just wiped right out. It's gonna be happening frequently. And this is kind of like a frosty door kind of thing, so you have to like melt it down in order to get it to open. If you don't have a flame spell, I don't know. What are you doing in here if you don't have a flame spell? Flame spell. Anyways, here's one here, okay? <laughs> you melt that down, opens the door. Typically, uh, oh, we killed him already. Okay. And best way to take care of this guy is a little bit of paralysis. Down you go. Uh, have a nice trip. See you next fall. <laughs> yeah, I like to paralyze this guy because I don't like playing around. But, yeah. Ledges where there's, you know, and there's something behind me. I'll get to you in a minute. Take a number. Oh my gosh. Ouch.
okay, this is getting out of hand. Let me just back up here. Okay, time out, everybody. Time the F out. Okay, incinerate, extra sauce. Burn, baby, burn. Yeah, that's enough out of you. Okay, who else? Line up here for a spanking. I got kind of distracted from uh, what I wanted to show here. It's one thing I want to show. Right down there. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Never get tired of birds. Never. Okay, that's enough out of you. That's enough out of you. Okay, now. Wait, he continues down there, but you can take this little side passage here. In here, and this will lead you into a little cavern if you will lots of goodies and the equilibrium spell which is it's a little unusual what you can do is spend health to recover magicka which can be deadly this is uh, especially playing on higher difficulties settings book equilibrium convert 25 points of health into magicka per second now the problem is when you're playing on higher difficulty settings um, it works out to more health, okay? It always converts like uh, 25 points of health per second, but you use up, or rather, 25 points of magicka per second, but it uses up a lot more health the higher the difficulty you go. But with a good healing spell, you could probably make it work for you. First of all, let's uh, bottom out our magic by using something that's really okay. There we go. There we go. Magic is bottomed out. Equilibrium. Cast that. And you see, my health is going up down, but I'm recovering magic. You can kill yourself doing this, eh? But with a good healing spell, like I said, you probably, you know, you'd have to. Crunch the numbers. Anyways, that's that. Crunch the numbers with your particular situation. See if it's worth it or not. Okay. Who is where? I see dead guy over there. Here, here we go. Hold up here. Back up. Let's get our spell on. Let's get our dragon hide on. And shazam. All right, let's get into the wild interior. With more magical wipeout stuff. I use this language of yours? Oh, nice dodge. <laughs> and you get a little bit extra sauce. Cause you're a death lord. Hold up here. Get to you in a minute. Down. Let's get over here so we don't get flanked. Who is left? You both dead? Dead, dead, dead? Very good. I see a grand soldier. Can't resist. Okay, and into the river. Uh, still have some dragon hide left. Yeah, let me just refresh Dragon Hide. Shazam. Okay. One for you. A little bit for you. <laughs> And I'm not going to bother with that. If you have to pick the lock, 
that's not the way to continue. <laughs> Okay, we haven't been using ice for him. Who wants a little bit of ice for him? Hmm? Typically, the skeletons are, skeletons are immune to it, but the droggers are not. Okay, and the frost rolls should come out here. Where's the frost roll? Okay, so here he is. <laughs> Always a crowd pleaser. <laughs> I never get tired of that either. Like in another magical wipeout thing. I got your number. That's enough out of you. Okay, and let me just refresh Dragon Hide here because I'm always forgetting. Okay, now you can explore around here, but the way to continue is down there. Pull the lever, the spikes go down. These guys, I normally just ignore because they'll leave you alone normally. There's just the, w the Wisp Mother up here. Just give her some extra sauce. Wisp Mother. There she is. She always like duplicates herself. So make sure you keep track of the real one. Fire and a fire spirit. I know it doesn't make sense, but uh, my incinerate spell is really powerful. And we got another magical elemental door here. We have to like freeze it to put the fire out um, in order to open it. One thing I never thought about is what they give you a frost bite spell here or something, just in case you don't have a freezy spell. Anyways, we do have a freezy spell. Fire out. And the door opens up. Hey guys. Please. Come on. We can't stop now. We have to keep moving. Okay, these Where guys will me? tend to attack you. Right um Dead. Something grabbed her from behind. Gone before I could do anything. This is insanity. We never should have come. You're right. This is all my fault. Should we turn around, head back? I don't think going back is a good idea. Going back would be the end of all of us. We keep pushing forward and we'll make it. We will. Come on, you can make it. Let's go. Once again, you bunch of lily livered panty waste. It's just a couple of skeletons and, you know, death lords and whatnot. First time in a Nordic barrel? <laughs> Who is somebody shouting behind me? Okay. Where is everybody? What's going on there? We'll just leave that alone. That's the way to continue. Then we take that, and we got a little bit of ghost doggy hack action happening here. Okay, this part you gotta be careful. Okay, here we go. Definitely get some extra sauce. Hey, how do you like it? 
Yeah. Barbecue. The skeet. Yeah, see, the skeleton resisted it. I think he's gonna resist paralyzed too. But he cannot stand before incinerate. <laughs> oh yeah, and these spectral dudes, they often have drain heart weapons like this. Which you may want. That was just habit. <laughs> Pure habit. Back up there, Death Lord dude. Yeah, you guys definitely get some extra sauce. All right. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes, all right? Thanks a lot, really appreciate it.